Good morning. Welcome to uh, Friday, September 22nd. Um, been up for a little over an hour. That's seven. I think I uh, just got my computer turned on. The only thing I want to do is I'm going to use the Blu-ray media that I bought yesterday. And I'm going to burn off a selection of old, you know, um, video game episodes onto disc. Now, I'm assuming that's going to take a while, because unlike with when I was burning burn it to the DVD and it burns like 4 gigabytes, this is like 25 or however much space uh, gigabytes. So it'll be quite a lot more. And I don't imagine it will write as fast. So uh, I figure I'll get that started, and then I'm actually going to go out... Um, I've been thinking for a while. Um, when I was a kid, ish, uh, I always went, uh, whenever we'd go garage sale, we went to Paul's Donuts. And, uh, in the last, like, year, Paul's Donuts first terrified me by closing down. And then, like, almost immediately, like, across the street opened up a bigger building. It's now, I think, like, Paul's Cafe. And they have donuts and ice cream like they've always had, and then apparently they have other stuff. I may try some other stuff, but anyways, they open apparently uh, on the days they're open. They apparently have limited days now, I just checked their website, but they're open today, and they open at like 5, so they're open already. And I don't want to go get get one of their, their donuts, because I haven't had that in years. So, I'm going to get this uh, Blu-ray started burning, that way, you know, maybe I'll play a video game, or maybe I'll open up the computer and put it in a new hard drive, but I want to get it started going before I leave. Yeah, it's the first time I've been here since they got the new... the bigger building and yeah this is much bigger than it used to be uh, <laughs> a lot bigger business but uh, yeah Paul's cafe uh, donuts ice cream and more established 1968 and uh, Paul's donuts was at least growing up my favorite donuts oh and it smells the same that's that's encouraging I'm like as long as the donuts are the same these were always my favorite donuts like I hate Krispy Kreme Krispy Kreme are bad but I'm looking forward to trying this out. See, so yeah, I got a donut and a small chocolate milk because that was exactly what I always got when I was a kid. And it looks like the most likely, I didn't even kind of tell from like the, yes, yeah, it looks like it was some other restaurant that they just sort of bought out and converted uh, into their little donut shop. Looks like they have a few other like breakfast sandwiches, that kind of things uh, that, on the menu, but for the most part, it looks a lot like it you know, like the actual selection, exactly what it was when I was a kid, made me really happy. So that was encouraging. Uh, I'm gonna take this home and show you the cinnamon knot. So that, my friends, is the cinnamon knot. And it was the donut that I always got when I was a kid. Oh, that's good. And it's still really good. That really is one of the best donuts you can get. And I'm sure, um, again, like I said, I hate Krispy Kreme, but I'm sure if you have like a small town kind of, like a local donut shop, I'm sure they probably do just as well. Um, it's always fun that. It's just always, it always seems that the, uh, with donut shops, it's the chains that just, they, they can't hold a candle to the, just the family run little, Donut chop, so um, I'm gonna eat this. Uh, obviously, I'll need to get breakfast in a bit, but this will be what I'll eat right now and see. Uh, looks like uh, burn is still in process on that uh, Blu ray disc. Wonder how long that'll take. That was, was not only just a, a good donut, but also a real fun sort of uh, nostalgic thing because that was, that was, um, you know, as a kid, uh, every, you know, every weekend during the summer. I'd go out dressing with my mom. That's something we've, we've always really done. When I was a kid, we would almost every time we did that, we'd go buy Paul's Donuts and we'd get, we'd get donuts, you know, sometime during that trip, you know, have something to eat while we were out grass, you know, out grass sailing. So it's also a bit nostalgic for that, and so I liked it. But uh, that is such a tasty donut. Uh, cinnamon Knot, which is like, tastes the same as like their Cinnamon Twist or. Whatever, but it's, you know, they have a few different shapes for it, but, uh, 
that's always the one I got when I was a kid, so that's the one I wanted to get now. I gave it another hour and uh, came back downstairs after hanging out with uh, my mother. Talking, uh, talking this morning, uh, well, she was having her coffee and such. And the disc is out, so let's see if it worked. Very cool. Had a big uh, list of files up through Dungeon Siege 2 Episode 40 and the rest of StarCraft 2 Heart of the Swarm all on the disc. So that means really I'm further ahead. Like, like I've stored more than has actually been released. I've uploaded, but you know, again with that uh, video game channel I have it where it's scheduled ahead. So uh, very cool. I'm I'm happy and it seems to all you know, it took it took a little longer than I may have liked, but it was only maybe uh, maybe two hours, two hours, and two hours to burn off. Uh, what, what is that? I now get to clear twenty about twenty three, twenty two, twenty three uh, gigabytes of data off the computer. So that's a big batch, which makes it much easier than what I've done so far. Is all these little DVD discs for it, so this is like five, four, five of one of those of those. So on one disc, so that's nice. And I think it's about after nine. I am probably gonna try before getting into the hard drive side of things. I think I want to film at least a little bit of StarCraft too. I do want to play some of that this weekend, so I'm gonna do that. So I played. Um, StarCraft 2, I played just one mission, and it turned out to be like a 50 minute long mission. Uh, you know, sort of a back and forth, kind of pushing against forces with allies, and then the allies couldn't help, so we had to be pushed back, and back and forth with that took quite, quite a while, so, um, so I'm just going to do the one today, and I think I'm going to convert that file, get it put in, and then uh, I still need to edit today, but I think first, before I, I'll convert first, then do the hard drive stuff, and then edit after. That's the plan. So after, uh, yeah, that file converted, I got the computer all shut down and such, and I got the monitor moved a little to the side, and it is certainly, it's been dustier. It's not been too long since I've been in here, and I am not sure which of these hard drives it actually is. I got four of them in there, um, which is, you know, and one, two, three, four, and two is the one that's out. Theoretically, it's the second one up, or maybe the second one down. I have myself a glimmer of hope. So, thinking, I was looking at it, and I was like, okay, it's gonna be too much work to trace the wires. I have them all routed behind everything, so I'm like, it's probably one away. Let's just try one and I'll look at the wire and I notice something. This wire that is the second one from the bottom. There's a spot, I don't know if I can get it to focus. There's a spot right here that is pinched and there is exposed metal. It's possible that it's just the SATA cable out. I'm really hopeful that if I could just replace the SATA cable then I still have the extra hard drive. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I've unplugged that. I'm gonna basically turn it back on and see is that actually the hard drive that was having the issue. That's, I guess, my step one is to figure out did I pick the right hard drive. No. That was disk three. Which, I mean, it's, it's working fine with the cable like that, but I may choose while I'm in here. For right now, I'm gonna leave it. Uh, I'll probably grab some electric tape and put it on it, of course, but uh, ultimately it's working. But that's this three, which means most likely it's the one above it that is the proper disc, but which puts us back to probably having a trouble with the actual disc. I was so hopeful for a moment there. Alright, so I just turned it back off um, and power's removed again. Um, I've had it on with this one now, the second one down, and I've confirmed it is, in fact, the drive that is missing, because all the ones that have been in there are still there. So now we remove that from its bay, and I will have to do a little bit of vacuuming. I do actually 
have a vacuum sitting uh, right beside me because <laughs> basically it's like I'll be careful in there but in general some of the stuff just the loose dust the very least I can get that and it won't be moving around in there and as you can see this thing is dusty but they get that way in there um, so I guess I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna remove these uh, side parts from there and I have the new hard drive right here so uh, I guess what I'm gonna now do is switch it out and get the new one put in and turn it on and uh, we'll see if it sees it and if so then it's probably the disc messed up but I'm still gonna check it all right then let's see what we can do here open the control panel administrative tools computer management are we gonna have an extra disk it's not formatted in here yep unallocated disk and all right for now I have uh, recreated disk 2 so I have my main disk for Ginevra disk 2 3 and 4 and then my two external disks um, on there so I now I'm back to four internal terabytes which is good I certainly can start using that I mean I know it looks like disk 4 is empty and it's almost always fully empty disk 4 is basically where I record my let's plays to at this point so I had to pretty much make sure it was empty um, because pretty much it's like record let's play oh that creates a 150 gigabyte file all at once and then you can press it down to like two gigabytes um, but because you know recording does not do any compression it's just sort of grabbing the data as quickly as it can um, they're huge file sizes until you shrink them down and uh, so I need to have pretty much a full terabyte free for that so that was that's pretty much eating up that drive and my logo disk I keep getting really near it keeps going to the red and I have to clear it off so this will give me some a little more wiggle room and uh, internal drive of course with SATA cables is a faster communication than the other the two externals that are USB so glad to be back up to that now to put this all back together and then I will test this to see if it is in fact dead after all mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah I'm pretty sure it's dead I don't feel it at all it's not even trying to spin up there. That hard drive is, uh, is pretty much gone. So I got this little circuit board here and it plugs in and then plugs in through a USB and, and basically, not basically, what it is is it's the internal from uh, you know a hard drive that I lost. I have the shell somewhere and I could always just get a hard drive and make it a new external drive but I've really found more use of it just keeping it like this and having a little circuit board that I can plug into a hard drive and see you know does it work and, and it's clearly power you know giving it power and it's trying and there is nothing yeah there's there's it's not even trying to spin up so that's that's pretty much gone um, it does mean that whenever I want to uh, re reformat Alice which I do along with this move I would like to do so um, and like actually replace the hard drive in there for one it's kind of an, a hard drive on the older side of things and two part of me just wants to keep that hard drive uh, as is as a backup just of all the files that I have on there uh, just to be safe up for one hand on, on the other you know safe like a heavy backup and for, on the other because it'll be easier because I'm probably gonna try and upgrade the operating system it's it's still running Vista so that's one of the reasons I want to replace it so but I will have to buy another hard drive to do that now kinda kinda sad I was hoping that would be fine but it's dead it's dead and the little LED light on the circuit board keeps blinking at me making fun of me for having a dead hard drive Okay, time to get it put away. At least this computer is back and fully functional now, so that I do have to, to be happy about. Alright, so I got uh, 
a vlog edited. Uh, the computer pretty much seems okay. It's back to what it was, you know, pre discovering the issue in July. Um, so it's back to its full capacity. Uh, that is good. And I also sent a message to Nick, and we are going to try to uh, go get some uh, some Chinese food when he gets off work. Hopefully before the, the price jump. Uh, which is good, because I, I haven't really, since the donut, I've had a few snacks, but nothing. haven't really had a meal, and I'm like, I hope I get to go to like a buffet. And at this point I was like, okay, let's make sure that I'm doing that, otherwise I'm, I'm not eating for no reason. <laughs> so that's good. So just got the uh, the message from Nick to head over get to get him something. We're gonna we're heading to get him, and we're gonna go to a buffet. And I am mighty hungry, so that is a very good thing. And we made it to Hibachiville in time for the lunch price, which isn't just the cheaper price, but also the better food because they switched some stuff out to more seafood in the evenings, and not liking seafood. It's better earlier. I don't know why I show you every time. I get the same thing every time. That's what you, you just nod. <laughs> I may have been thinking it as you're sitting down. <laughs> it's like, why does he bother? It's the exact same two plates every time. You, you give some hibachi, then you go get your pile of stuff under rice. But it tastes good. Okay, that was good. I'm full now. And I was really hungry going in there. So that was really nice. So, I uh, feel a lot better having eaten. Uh, it's probably out of energy and probably a little crabby just because I was so hungry because I had, I, had, I had the donut, which isn't a lot of protein, and then I had a few snacks, none of which had all that much protein. And that's really all I'd had today. And it was like three in the afternoon. And I'd woke it up at like, you know, 5.30 or 6. <laughs> so, I was, I was quite hungry. So food was good. Um, but I didn't hang out with uh, Nick following it. He's gonna take a nap and then gonna go see the second Kingsman movie. I did not see the first Kingsman movie, and I have to work in the morning, so going out to a movie late today is not a, uh, a wise decision. I will regret it tomorrow. Uh, but it was still fun to at least see him for a little bit. Um, you know, and to, and to get, get Hibachi Grill. We haven't been there in a couple weeks at least, so. Which seems like, oh, that's not very much time, but. We used to get it a couple times a week, and so it feels like a long time when I go that long without having it. So it's been a bit. Um, did some editing, and it's gonna need some pretty much once this video exports that I just edited. I, I think I'm gonna the next one. I'm just gonna uh, set to upload a video, and then that'll that'll get me through for the day, and I'll have done what I need to do. Um, beyond that. Uh, I did hang out with my mom a bit, and we're continuing to discuss plans for the condo. Um, you know, different, like, what rooms am I going to need to paint? Am I going to need to paint the cabinet? Those kind of things. Um, and my brother actually came over and said, hey, let's go. So they're actually over there doing the inspection now. I was in the middle of some stuff, so I didn't, I didn't go in. I need to make sure I'm ready and able to go to bed on time. Um, but, uh, so he's gonna go do the inspection and see if he finds anything that, uh, that I should change my mind because of. So, I guess I will find out by the end of the evening, do I, in fact, want the place? Or is there a problem with it that we don't know about and I change my mind? So, to my knowledge, once I get the, you know, once I hear back and we get this report this evening, I guess I'll know if I'm actually moving forward with this or not, because, well, so far we think that I am, this will pretty much be that deciding factor of if so, and, and if so, it's probably here in a few weeks, 
And I mean, that's when I'll get and start taking on the bills for the place, but that'll still leave me having to, like I said, fix it up. So it'll probably be almost at least a month before I actually get to move in, but but I'll have fun getting to fix it up and and actively working towards, you know, getting it ready to move into. Still waiting in for uh, for that uh, that word to get home. And, oh, well, and I believe it'll be coming home uh, with dinner because my mom went with him and she's gonna pick something up on the way home. So that'd be nice too. He said, in general, to tell you that the HVAC does need to be replaced, and that's the worst of it. Although there's a lot of piddly things, they might cost somebody some money if they had to pay full price for all of it. But all of it is something that between you and him and Mike and your dad. You can get done for relatively cheap, thinking that buying the carpet for everybody to put in is going to be the most costly of the additional things to do. He said that he thinks that you should keep this stove that mom has. That even though one burner doesn't work, the rest of it seems to work fine, and it's a pretty nice stove. Okay. So we're thinking worth getting? What is it? Uh, it is really late. She had to, uh, basically, I'm supposed to be in bed by nine. She just got home with food. And it is 8.53. So I will pack up enough for lunch tomorrow and I will probably have my salad because it's a good salad, uh, Stephanie's local restaurant. And then I'm going to bed. So I'm going to end it here. Have a good day. Bye.